Well, I haven't made a video in a while. I figured I would uh, post what I've been doing so far. Um, this pack here is a 24, 24 volt pack from Stevo with the BMS that I'm using as a basically a 24 volt system for the whole bike lights, um, relays. Um, there's an alarm in there from Stevo they gave me for free, which was kind of cool. Uh, let's see, I added a mega. You can pick those up at Canadian Tire for six bucks. They're actually pretty good. They're 175 amp, um, 36 or 48 volt. Um, I put it there just in case. If I fire the controller, that'll pop, no problem. Um, I padded the inside of the battery box. So, I use a really heavy gauge wire for the for the battery. I don't have any end, so I basically just uh, you know folded the wire over and coated it with some uh, solder to make a plug. For now, it works. Same with this over here. Uh, I got the extra lead here that I tap into the uh, balancing lead on the on the packs to fool the controller into 48 volts. That works good. Um, I have a board in there, I can't really show you because it's just floating in there right now, but there's a relay in the board and there's a relay over here, and there's a microprocessor that I actually built myself that I'm playing around with. But, uh, so far it's been holding up, um, has fan control, thermal fan control is the therm, thermeister or whatever the hell you want to call it, that would go on the controller, I haven't got around to doing it yet. If it gets too hot, it'll cut off, cut the power of the bike. Uh, I put a fan in there for now, so you can see. It, it does a good job blowing on the controller, keeping it cool, because it gets pretty freaking hot. Um, I guess I can show you it powered up. That's for the, that light there is for the alarm. So if I park it, I can leave that on. But, the keychain. Got the batteries charging up here. <laughs> Go for another ride. But as you can hear, it works. Thanks, Steve, for that. Uh, let's see. This button here, it uh, actually glows blue. Uh, you can pick these up at um, uh, Quality Kits for eight bucks. It's uh, basically a soft touch control, so it's hooked up to the board, and like I said, it controls the fan and the power to the bike. So that was what the microprocessor does. It controls the fan and this relay here. That one's for the, um, the main pack voltage. As you can see, it's working. We've already uh, melted. Uh, now it's one, so I'm still playing around with that. But, uh, it's pretty fun. And what I do for the packs is I just run small alarms on that. And for up here, this one here is monitoring the main pack. Because if I don't have any voltage in that, I have no bike. So, as you can see, it's all good. So it'll run as low as, well actually I don't know how, how low it will actually run before the BMS cuts out. But uh, charging it's pretty easy to do. It's no brainer. So, it's about as far as I got. Uh, of course, in endless fear fashion I had to add my little stickers to it. <laughs> so, it's, like I said, it's a bit of a mess wiring wise, but it's still in testing phase. Later.